All right, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, good night, YouTube. Whenever this video finds you well, I hope it finds you in good health. And I want to provide you yet another update for how my hobby is coming along and the progress that I'm making therein. So first off, you guys see here the... Uh, command squad the canadian command squad as you can probably tell i've put some green stuff on their faces because i'm going to be putting these as like eva face masks you know the eva helmet from uh, halo where it's just like this big sheet of glass uh, essentially that's what i'm going to be doing with my cadians uh, i don't like exposed faces uh, it for me it doesn't I don't, I don't know. I don't know. For me, there's a little bit of a disconnect with humans running around on alien worlds and being able to breathe their atmosphere. I don't, I, I struggle with that. I don't know why that is where the cutoff point is for me in Warhammer, but it is what it is. I prefer face masks and having uh, the benefit of, of avoiding painting faces, I guess. But I digress. Uh, it is a wonderful kit, I gotta say. I do not regret my purchase of the Cadia Stands box set. If you haven't got your hands on one yourself and you are a guard player, by all means, I do encourage you to pick that up. I do think, uh, despite its price point, I do think it's worth it if you are looking to expand your guard collection. Uh, yeah, so anyways, as you probably see here, I've been focusing a little too much. Uh, but anyway, so here is the Commander, a Plasma Pistol Power Sword. The oh, Banner Bearer, of the Regimental Standard. Ooh, we got the Medic. We got the Master Vox. And then we got the Special Weapons Holder. I like the Melted Gun. Uh, I love heat rays, fire, plasma. I love all the special weapons, but I chose Melta in particular uh, because it's an homage to the original uh, commander or command squad, as I, as I understand it, with the Melta gun in that one. Anyways, we're gonna switch on over here. Boom, oh yeah, that reminds me, because uh, this guy is going to be my stand-in for Acadian Castellan, because uh, my uh, Lord Commander is no longer a thing in the HQ slot. So this guy is Acadian Castellan, despite looking a little like a Krieg model. Krieg model. Blah, 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 blah. Words. Krieg model. Thank you. Anyways, yeah, so a custom plasma pistol and Goldfinger here has his power fist in the form of a, uh, a metal arm, a bionic arm. And yeah, so that's how I like to run him. I'll probably do some green stuff just to make the, the base 28 millimeters like that. I'll, I'll figure it out. Uh, or just keep him in there like there and then just run him at, at the deficit of three millimeters. Whatever. Anyways, so here's the uh, Field Ordnance Battery next. Absolutely fantastic. I love these guys with the uh, Bombast Field Gun here. Uh, what I want to bring your attention to in particular is how I've chosen to magnetize it. Again, as you probably see, I've put masks on. On this one in particular, I put a little rebreather. I'm going to paint that fire and then the little slits are going to be black to show that it's a custom rebreather for that guy old school visor ugly af but i'm here for it uh and again just to note i think i think there's a, a lady in the hobby here that we have um, sword and steel or something like that and she spells steel as in the last name steel i know that's my other half um not my better half as our cultural saying goes but like the other half of my bloodline anyways uh or some of it at least my mom's side of the family regardless uh we got the bombast field gun and i just want to point out the green stuff i've done here pretty ugly pretty ugly but it functions i'm going to turn it around here 
boop, boop, boop. I've put magnets in there. I don't know if you can tell there's a slight circle in that one. But yeah, I put magnets in there. What you can do is drill down instead. Bzz, bzz, drill down if you got the right bits for it. I don't, so I green stuffed. And then I green stuff the bottom here and then it just goes in for me a little like that, yeah. And uh, she works, so now this way I can plug and play. I can uh, pull these parts out, the little side parts here of the cannon and then slot them into the LAS variant, the LAS, uh, heavy LAS cannon variant. And then even this sh front shield part par uh, pulls off if I can do it here with one hand while maintaining uh, control over the, oh, yes, I did. We Okay, so yeah, the little slots in there will go on the slots there like that. I'll put that back on later. I don't think I've got the dexterity for it now. But yeah, further show that I've got that magnetized in pretty good. And then same thing with this one over here. Yeah, and then masks again for the same reason as before i want them to be breathing and then the armored sentinel uh you don't have to magnetize this bad boy too much uh plug and play here which is quite lovely right so that fell falls off a little too easy for my liking but it it is saving me the trouble i'm pretty sure with some paint that'll fix it up uh yeah so build it as it, it says to build it uh, but as uh, the lady from uh, Sword and Steel, I think that's her name. Ooh, can I do that? Can I do that? Do I have the dexterity for it? She pointed out that you don't actually have to glue all the parts and that you should not glue all the parts. Uh, so that way you can have a better time painting and transitioning between the Armored Sentinel variant and boop, Scout Sentinel variant. Ooh, yay. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Yeah, so we can do that. And then... Um, I can't pull it off here, but as you can probably tell with a little bit of wiggle there. Yeah, so I haven't glued it in. I've glued the bottom piece here. I'll say like the, this little bottom slit. So that way with the tension, it'll keep that on uh, as long, along with the actual like uh, uh, what controls, control panel for the, the front there. And then as you can probably see again, yeah, another visor. Yeah, I'll cut my nail soon. Yeah, another visor there. Look at that. Boom. So I'll just paint that up. Yeah, it'll just make it easier to paint because I'll be able to pull off the front door here. Pff, get inside and paint real good. And then, yeah, and then uh, the Hunter Killer Missile. Oh, that's raw. All right. The Hunter Killer Missile. Boom. Like that. Right? So it's out. So yeah, there we go. I'll leave that be. So yeah, so anyway, so I just want to give you a quick update. I'll be building the 20 Cadia, uh, Cadia Infantry there shortly, uh, probably tomorrow. I'm tapped out for today. And then I'll be putting on <laughs> all the visors. I'll be doing a lot of green stuff for them so that way they can have face shields like this Medic here or this Master Vox over here. Or even the commander there. So, yeah, so a lot more to come. And, uh, yeah, I hope your hobby is uh, progressing too. And that you're keeping that uh, pile of shame to a minimum. Anyways, take care. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of the day, evening, night, or whatever, wherever you find yourselves at. Take care of yourself. Be healthy. Think critically. And peace out. Love you.